Hey everyone, YouTube is coming out with a new feature called YouTube Shorts. And it's already rolled out to a few people because I have noticed it on my home screen, or I should say within the videos that I find on my home screen. Now, I want to show you what it looks like from the viewer side. When you open up your YouTube app, you get the home screen and you can see your stories. Now we're all familiar with stories. They last about 15 seconds and they go away within 24 hours. And you notice a thumbnail, then down at the very bottom of that thumbnail, you have the user thumbnail for their channel and the little red circle around it indicating that there's a story. But shorts looks a little bit different. So if I go up to the top and tap on the video, and I'm gonna be periodically stopping the video so you don't get the sound there, Okay, so if you scroll down from any video that you go on YouTube, you are going to see your stories, but if we keep sliding over, you'll notice the short videos are a little bit different. And you're going to notice at the very top, you're going to see 20 seconds, 21 seconds, 30 seconds. So you're going to get beyond the 15 second time limit that you have on stories. Now it's going to look a lot the same and you'll be able to interact the same on shorts as you would on stories. So I'm going to tap on the first story that I have here and I want you to notice a little bit of the screen and I'll come back and talk about it a little bit. I could help in that regard. There's a, there's a ton of strategies. I mean, the funny thing is we just saw just us, you know, pressing. Okay. So you noticed that you had actually capable of growing. Okay, sorry about that. You'll notice that you had a like, you had a comment, and you were able to tap on it to go to the next one. So shorts runs pretty much the same way, except you have a little bit of different stuff. So we're gonna tap on Luke's Sith Saber. Okay, test fire of the Sith version of A New Hope Luke, no longer using the bubble slide. Going food. Nice, man. This might. Okay. So you had a little bit more. You were able to add comments. You were able to get more stat data. But also a big difference is you're able to subscribe directly from the shorts that you would have. So let's go ahead and tap on this one. I'm going to say the N-word. Just work. So I was able to subscribe directly from there. And another thing, the shorts do not go away. They are part of the creator's channel, and they stay up longer than the 24 hours. So this is going to help you with regard to your watch time. This is going to help you with regard to your channel analytics. You'll be able to set up a channel once we are able to create and the whole thing rolls out within the YouTube app to create shorts. You'll be able to do this and the shorts looks like it's working with the algorithm. It's almost like a suggested video, but for short reels. So what you need to look at if you're not on TikTok and you're not on IGTV, or you're not used to vertical video creative content, you are going to have to set up a new campaign to be able to start doing vertical content. And I would suggest either tying it in to your videos, maybe a short preview, or creating something that is completely different. I have run across shorts, and this is rolling out to channels just sort of randomly. I mean, I've seen some that have... 50,000 subscribers and then another channel have it that only had about 600. So it is rolling out randomly. I do not have it as of yet. But what we are able to do is be able to upload and do all of these things here. Now, the thing that I would like to see is a separation between stories and shorts. If I tap on a video, and I scroll on down, they're, they're put together. I do not like this at all. 
And I don't know, YouTube's still in the beta phase of testing this, and they are probably going to be changing this up. But if we wanted to get things looking like a lot of other social media apps that are doing stories or whatever they call it, the stories needs to go up here. This is where our short stories need to go. Instead of being on the subscriber page, and of course these are my subscriber channels, they need to be up here on the home page. The only reason why I put a comparison there is that we are used to seeing stories like on Facebook or on Instagram, small little circles with the user stuff with a little ring. This is where stories needs to go on the home page. And then having your shorts right down here right where it needs to go so that they can be differentiated it is going to be to youtube's detriment if they put the shorts and the stories all together without some form of differentiation because they are separate videos in and of themselves that needs to be doing this in fact even up here right where the categories and stuff they needs to have like a, a, a sticky category where shorts is up here and left up here or something to that degree. Something that is differentiated to feature the new thing that's going to be coming up for all of us on the home on the home page because this unless they do it like this. Mm. See, they need to differentiate. I mean, it's going to, people are going to have to relearn a part of the ecosystem of YouTube to be able to find out the difference between stories and shorts. And it needs to be, when you're on a video, they need to just have the shorts here and the stories like they have it on the subscriber portion and just have it up at the very top. In fact, they just need to do some rework with this. Even leaving things where they are, I don't know. But it's going to be a new feature that's going to be on YouTube. I am not able to do it as of yet. Not able to do it as of yet. But that's not to say that it won't roll out. And it is going to be rolling out. Everyone will have availability, availability to this in the YouTube app. It is not going to be a separate app. So you're going to have to update it and then check back in. More than likely, you are going to show it or it's going to show up somewhere in the Create button. They may have a fifth button here. It would be good to do that simply because um, everyone's used to it. In fact, they may have it to where um, if you're tapping on story, they may have it story and shorts. And if it goes beyond 15 seconds, it may automatically go to the shorts. And it would be nice if they had... If they had all of the stuff, hopefully like they've got it on TikTok and have it a TikTok look like. I mean, if they're going to be copying it, they might as well go all the way. But in any case, that's what it's looking like so far on the viewer side of things. And we may be seeing this very soon. Later.